I did it. I solved the problem with my second brain. At least for the moment. Hey friends, welcome to my channel. It was a while since you saw me. I took a break and now I'm back to share with you more and more great ideas, techniques, insights. As I mentioned in the previous video on my YouTube channel, I have a problem with my second brain. Actually, I had a problem with my second brain. At this moment, it is successfully solved. We stopped previous video because I had to make a decision with what platform to proceed. In the short list, there were two rivals. Microsoft OneNote and Notion. I had no experience with Notion before, but OneNote I was using for many years as my supportive platform for business. I made notes in OneNote and kept the other data in there. If we compare both applications, we have almost the same flexibility and sync over many platforms and systems. The only what is different, as per my opinion, it is quick of use and it is kind of related to syncing between platforms as well. OneNote is super for everything, but there is only one disadvantage. When it comes to syncing from my iPhone to my PC and vice versa, it can take centuries to be done. And sometimes it does sync with conflicts and I had to manually restore the data and correct what I have already entered once. I did a quick research to identify if I would have the same problems in Notion, but didn't find anything. And winner for me is Notion. Looking ahead, I will know that I have already done full transfer to Notion and it is syncing seamlessly. You can make any kind of adjustments on any platform and be sure about safety of your data. For me, it's very important and forced me to make my final choice. Notion is my new platform for my second brain. Now I suggest to switch to Notion where I will show you how I organize my second brain system. Here you can see my welcome screen. On the welcome screen we have all three main paragraphs of my existence. Life, business and YouTube. Now I have to warn you, I will not show you anything covered in the business section. This is fully my private and I can't introduce you to the information stores there. But we will go through life and YouTube sections. It's a pity you wouldn't see business section because many interesting solutions are used in there. But it is what it is. Before we go inside my second brain, I want to share with you some ideas how you can use Notion. Let's make it in the quick mess note section. Despite many options how to express text on the screen, we have a different ways to organize data in the Notion. To open these options, we need to write down slash and here we can see all available options. We can create simple text, a page, to-do list, bulleted list, numbered and toggled list, like quote, divider, callout and, and others. But what is beautiful is that we can also create a database. And this database can be represented as table, board, gallery, list, calendar and timeline. And more to say is that you can create one database and use all representation options in the same database. Just a short example here. Let's create a table and fill it a little bit with the random information. Now we can add another representation option and organize the same data in there. You see? This way of use opens a lot of opportunities for creation of second brain because you can in a agile way show data and link it each to other. Now let's dive into my second brain. On the welcome screen we see sections live, business and YouTube. Also we can see weekly habit tracker and one punch man. Down here we see quick messy notes. This is the area where I dump quickly all the ideas or info I receive and relocate it afterwards when I have more time. One punch man is something new for me and why I will make a separate video about it. 
Don't forget to smash like and subscribe buttons to stay aware of news of my channel. Let's open weekly habit tracker. I have located it on the welcome screen because I believe in the power of a habit. I have made several videos related to this, so don't forget to take a look on them. Here we can see a weekly separation for habit tracking. These are all my habits I am working at the moment on. And I just have to check them here, like this. Down I can see the percentage of success every separate day. If I need to create a new week, I just take date one, duplicate, put it up here, rename it, open it, and I just undo all the clickings here. While I was making this, I just thought why not to create a template. I can duplicate it again, put it down here, call it weekly habit tracker template. And now it's clean over there. If I need to create a new one, I will just copy or duplicate this one and put it up to here. If I want to add a new one, I just need to add the new line here and just put it like this. Boxing skills. Let's get back to the welcome screen and go into the live section. We have dashboard. We will see it later. Remember me, some important data I can't forget. This is like my rules of life generated by famous wording. Checklist. I will not spend time here. I have a separate video called 11 lists I use daily. Go on and check it. We will skip pins for a reason. 80-20 rules. I'm a big fan of the idea of 80-20 and I use it in every aspect of my life and business. This is a short summary of 80-20 applications. The same is for Essentialist. It is a summary of the book called Essentialist. Great book, by the way. My recommendation to read it. Sports, camping, cooking, just a separate pages for the info. We can create as many as we want. Now it's time to look into the live dashboard. First section we see here is called Focus On. Here I list everything I have to focus on at the moment of my life. Todoist is a plain and minimalistic to-do list of my personal activities. Endless shopping list is a list where I put every stop at the grocery store. If you are worried why it is called like this, go on and check my YouTube video called 11 lists I use daily. Movies and reading lists. As you can see, I am far away from my reading progress and this is why on my focus list I have the reading at the first place. Next, we have the fire list 2021 and wish list. I will not spend time here. All this was covered in my other videos. Now let's go to the section YouTube. We have YouTube dashboard, workflow and script templates here. Script templates talks by itself what it is. Inside we have a template with place or area, action or b-roll, captions if any and voice over. Let's go to dashboard. I have a special area here for quick video ideas. This is the place where I keep raw ideas that needs to be elaborated in the future to become a story, but in general are interesting to me. Short editing memo for me not to forget something during editing process. CEO memo and iPhone videography memo. Yes, about last 10 videos are shot on my iPhone and I'm really happy about it. The last section is the workflow. And now it's presented as a, as a board, but I can switch table or board just with one click. All my video ideas are stored and created here. We can see the status, we can see the playlist it goes in, when it was published and who was the sponsor. Since I transferred to Notion, I spent already three weeks living like this. What is, what is great? Everything is stored in one place. Full speed synchronization through all the platforms and endless editing capabilities. What was not so good, I had to re-educate myself again how to keep data in one place rather than three different. This is all for today. Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to constantly evolve. Bye-bye.